Okay, how are you, Mom? Yeah. How was your day? Oh, it was eventful. Yeah? Mm, yeah. We have this uh, troublemaker, who, and little old lady's not off to sleep. He likes to play with them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> really? Yeah, he always gets caught, though, because he makes so much noise. He's really persistent. Yeah. Those girls have to learn how to sleep with their mouths shut. Oh, God. What an opportunist, huh? Yeah. And, uh, oh, and we have this uh, one little old, sweet little old lady. She came up to me with this bundled handkerchief and said, I made this for you. Yeah? Yeah. And, and she opened it up and inside was the cutest little piece of poop. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. That's, That's all she had to give me. That's sweet. She's said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Best bonus I've gotten in years, Greg. Oh, and we got Jimmy the old bus driver? Yeah. yeah. He watches my car like a hawk. Yeah. And uh, there was some kids snooping around it the other day, and he just shoot them away. I should really get him something. For the holidays. Yeah, for the holidays. Yeah. What were you thinking? I'm thinking a mug. Yeah, why don't you get him a mug of a sports team? Hmm. Mets, Yankees. Yeah, find out what he likes. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So how's uh, your job going? Well, you know, it's end of year and uh, they really put the screws on. It's really tough. So no longer the fair haired boy? Mm. No, it's uh, alopecia setting in at this point. Mm. That, My boss. That boss? Yeah. She still live in town here. Yeah, these things are pretty crazy. Running it's... around in her yeah. Little a little light blue jogging outfit. I see her. Maybe you should go into business for yourself. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not such a sucker for the sob stories. I, you know, that, that's a problem. Yeah. But I, I mean, you remember that time that uh, Lisa and I were making a movie here? Which and, movie? Uh, the one of the disappearing uh, Pepsi. Oh yes, with yeah. the sun lamps? Yeah, we used sun lamps to light the whole thing and you caught us about 20 minutes in the film and you were worried that uh, we were staring into the, the sun lamps and our eyes would burn out. Yeah, well. Yeah. And we, so we were like lying down on our beds waiting for our sight to disappear. I guess I overstated that. Yeah, but you know, we were so bad. You had a, I'll tell you something, we were, so, we were so bad. You should just beat us now. Ah, no, that would be the day. Come on, don't you have a wooden spoon or I, something? I got plenty. I, I could run after you right now, like Irene. <laughs> I, I heard this story from uh, Irene about, uh, who's it, the great grandfather, Joe. Joe? Yeah, he's... Which story? The one where he had the, uh, every morning, we'd have a big tumbler. Oh. What appeared to be the water. Right, yes, vodka. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, well, we weren't allowed to touch it. Apparently it was straight vodka. A nice yes. little eye opener in the morning. That's, uh, yes. And he didn't lose any fingers over that. <laughs> That's a butcher, no. <laughs> he did not. Yeah, there is a great story. It was, um, you know, because that was a Tammany Hall day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, a cop used to come in to get his his bride. Yeah, well, you know, I shook him down for mm -hmm. meat. And uh, one day, you know, Grandpa Joe, he just had enough and he kicked this cop out, beat him up on the sidewalk, scared him away. Yeah, and then later on that day, he went down to the police department to apologize. And the cops just said, it's okay, go home. They, they were like, it was not a problem. He's the only man I've ever heard of. Yes, that, that got away with beating up a cop. Yes, by the other cops. That cop must not been well alive. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> Talk about a family legacy. Maybe he did not share his meat. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good to share. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he just had enough. It could have been the vodka too. I, I don't know. <laughs>